Hey folks, how y'all doing? We're going to be working on the Honda uh, 2006 TRX um, TE electric shift Honda Rancher. We're going to be putting a new carburetor on it because it's leaking gas. You can put kits in them, clean them up, whatever you want to do, but I, I choose to put a new carburetor on there. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to get to work on it. I'll show you step by step process. Got to move the, remove the seat, air box, some hoses, all that good stuff, and I'll let you see you step by step. All right. Well, so far, as you can see, you got the new carburetor that's sitting right on the front of the four wheeler. OEM Honda Genuine parts. All right. There's the old one right here and check this out folks look how much gas is that had dripped out since the last video this is a, this would be the part two of the series that's a lot of gas a lot of gas and see it's still dripping you saw see that all right We'll get underway. Nice boiler. Hey, it's a carburetor. It's not a big deal at all. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and start. Okay, folks, first thing we're going to do is remove the seat, and it ain't no telling what's on Neva here. So, seat's off. Alright. Put that over here, out of the way. Got our air box. Right here are our winch cables. I got all that kind of stuff, so they're kind of in the way. Which I wonder who installed them. Me. <laughs> but they're not but they're not too bad. But anyway, first of all, we'll go ahead and take the Air box out. Air. I'll flip that. And I got boxes laying around where I can put stuff in. Okay, there we go. That's out, off. So we'll put that in a box. So we'll have it for later on. see here take the and like say if you don't want to watch all this video you can skip to it you know no big deal I got my little my handy craftsman set my favorite tool I like all the other brands too Probably gonna be a six millimeter. Sure is. All right, six millimeter. That's a uh, again a six millimeter for the uh, air filter, right here. All right. Pop that air filter right on off. There you go. Not too bad, pretty clean. And put that in the box. All right. Next step. Next step will be, uh, let me see here. The next step will be, okay, there's an air hose a breather hose right here right here so I'll give you a close look at that I'm going to take that puppy off I'll 
show it to you. Okay, next up, get the air hose taken off. We've got some lights on the motor now. Alright, hope y'all can see that. Let me get another. Right there. You gotta take them clips off. And bam, she slips right on out of there. It slips right on out of here, it goes through here through rubber grommets and it comes out. So we'll go ahead and get that off of there. Okay. Okay. Uh, now my head's probably in the way. But oh well. You gotta take these pliers. Just take the pliers and move them down. Come back. All right, be back on Hey, folks, we got to remove this clamp right here from the air box snorkel coming in. This hose clamp. And we got to remove the hose clamp from the air box from the carburetor. That's right here. So let me get to let me get to doing that. And we'll be back here in a minute. Okay, folks. Before you take the uh, air box off, there's a bolt right here oh, let me see if I can get in there it's a bolt which would probably be easier to take it off on the other side it's a bolt connected air cleaner to the, like a bracket on the motor and I'm trying to get you a good shot of it Right behind them vacuum hoses. Right there. Oh, we come, come on the other side, which might be a little easier. It's all, uh, there it is right here on the other side. It's probably just as easy to take it off on this side. Just take the whole bracket off. Right there. That's what, we're, that's what we're going to do. Take that bracket off. It's a 10 millimeter nut. All right. So we're going to take that off. And right now, we got the air tube. We got the carburetor disconnected. Just got to take that bottom bolt out. Nut. All right. So we'll be back in there in a minute. So we'll point that out. So, so far, we use a 10 millimeter. Uh, six millimeter. Six millimeter for the hose clamps and ten millimeter for the bottom um, bottom bolt for the air breather box. Alright. Hey folks, I'm back. That bottom bolt right there, it's the easiest way to get to is back from behind the four-wheeler. And uh, here's what it looks like right here. Okay. That's what it looks like right there. Try and get it from the right side or the left side. Ain't doing a job. Gotta get underneath and get from behind the four wheeler like I am right now. And here's the uh, culprit right here. 10, 10, 10 millimeter bolt. I mean, with a 10 millimeter head on, that is. Alright. So, yeah, there, there she is right there. That's connected, connected to a bracket to the motor. So yeah, and it's got a, got a rubber grommet inside there. So yep, that's probably the hardest part of putting this carburetor on here, getting that air box off. All right, we'll be back here in a second. Take this air box out. All right. All right, let's flip that uh, air box on out of here. All right. Lights on the subject. <sighs> I slipped this hose out, out of here too. Also, that uh, vacuum hose. I mean, air hose. I mean, a breather hose. Excuse me. That's the hardest part. If you got winch cables and all that stuff, 
The snorkel is the hardest part. Come on, baby. What's up going on there? And then what we do is lift up, kind of lift up on it. There we go. We got something going now. At least I'm hoping. There we go. She's tight. Okay, that's a, uh, that was a piece that fell off down there in the bottom. Put that back in there. This little piece right here, it goes in the uh, bottom of the breather tube. It goes in there like that. Yep, yeah, thinking it does anyway. Like that. This little piece. All right. Okay, well, that's it for right now. Then we're gonna take the carburetor off, okay? Carburetor's right here. Okay, y'all, here's a new carburetor. Let's check it out the box. And what I like to do is study or take pictures, look at it real good before I get to, you know, before I get to put anything on. Let's see, let me get my old knife out. Anyway, get this puppy out of here. It's really not that bad. Got see a few vacuum hoses on there. I just see a, a electrical connection, vacuum hose, fuel line, right here. It's right there. This is the this is the front. Going to the engine. This is going to the air, air right here. That's brand new, bet y'all. So, and this hose right here. This is the drain hose. That sits down there like that. That's one that's was, was leaking. The, the gas leaking from. All right, so we'll take that off. So we'll be back here in a minute. We'll take the old one off and see what we got. Hey, y'all. I'm back. We're going to have to take this whole side panel off right here to get to the it's an electrical connection right up underneath of here. Um, it's a bear to get to. Um, I might be able to get it, but... Probably just easy to keep this whole side panel off. Just a couple pieces and we'll go from there. All right. Y'all, yeah, I got these uh, pair of push pins, body push pins right here. And take them puppies right here. Slip it in there. Like this. Yeah, like that. I don't know if I want to take that one out or not. But as long as I can get to... Yeah, that's going to have to come off. My bad. Okay. And 
I got I got a bunch of new new one new ones of these. If I need them, put them in a box right now. Got one down here. Another one right here. Alright, another one up here. I'm in the way in them. Anyway, I get there all my electrical connections right now. I'll be good enough. All right, we'll be back here shortly. This electrical connection I was trying to get to is right here. Right here, folks. That's what I was trying to get to right there. So, all we got to do is uh, disconnect that. Hold up one second. Female end goes up in there. Trying to figure out how it goes up in there. All right. Well, we'll cross that bridge and get to it. All right. Hey, folks. I got me a small Stanley screwdriver, instrumentation screwdriver. Um. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Light is covering up. Okay. That's what we want to see. Okay, take a small screwdriver up in here and you kind of work it and bam, comes out like that. Okay, so remember, get your instrumentation screwdriver and you should be set. One of these, uh, it's a two, two, Two millimeter, right here. Two millimeter works good. Does a good job. All right. So anyway, it's been a heck of a job so far. But we're gonna take a break. Go eat me a sandwich, and we'll come back, and we'll go go from there. Okay. So we'll be back. We'll be back here shortly, folks. All right, y'all. Okay, folks, we're back. Just got back from eating eating some lunch. But yeah, so far, um, 
the carb goes on here like this. This going to the engine, or to the intake. This goes to the air box right here. There's only one vacuum hose, one vacuum hose, and one, ele one electrical connection right here. And I guess that's for your choke, at least so. Um, not exactly 100% sure, but you know, here's your electrical connection. But if, if y'all know, y'all know what this is, you're gonna tell me. I'll go look it up online. But uh, anyway, here's your fuel. Here's right here. That's basically it. It's a pretty simple, done deal. It's a, gonna be a great little project. Kind of pain getting to that electrical connection right here, but no biggie. All right, well, we're gonna take the vacuum hose off, and then the uh, vacuum hose, we're gonna get the electric, electrical connection off. We'll take the vacuum hose off, and the fuel line will be the last thing we we'll take off. All right, so we're gonna get at it. All right, folks. Oh, I forgot to mention also the uh, choke cable right here. Forgot to mention that. So yeah, that's a real important bug right there. All right, we'll be back here shortly. All right now. Hey folks, we're back at it again. Got a, uh, we'll take the fuel line off. Okay. And give them pliers. All right. Chop our needle nose. Need them bent ones for this. All right, bear with me. That's gonna be a bear. Okay, I got you. All right, one second. Shoot that screwdriver in there. Got how these things come off. It's been a while. All right. All right. One second. Okay. Got that slipped up there. It's the pars and slip on there. I want to take the fuel line off. A little bit of gas coming out of there, not much. All right, that's all. Okay, take the carburetor off. Our tape is still connected. Stop that gas yeah, so. up. Okay, y'all, the carburetor is out. All right. Now we got to unhook the choke right here. Okay. Now we got to unhook the choke. So let's do that now. Okay. 
y'all can see that. All right. Take that screw out right there. And it slips right on off. Okay. All right. So we'll leave that alone for a minute. And we'll put a new one on there. See how size wrench that is. Probably gonna be a 10 or a 12. Try 10. No, it's, it's a 10. All right. First of all, you need to take this piece out. So. Take screwdriver. Loosen up on it. It just comes right on out. There we go. She's out. Now we'll uh, take a 10 millimeter wrench. Screw it on out by hand. Let's see right here. All right. Okay, one more line out right here, got to go. One second. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Don't wanna lose that little ring. This just slides out, I think it's another vacuum hose. Nope, <laughs> wrong there. All right, that brain cramp there. That's not, that's another type of uh, fitting. But we'll get that. One second, folks. Okay, y'all, that is a throttle cable. I had a brain cramp, I'm sorry. Uh, man, I feel like an idiot. Let me get this hose out of here. All right, it's a throttle cable right here, folks. Sorry about that. All right, so what we'll do is it's a 12 millimeter. Okay, 12 millimeter. Hey, no, excuse me, 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter. And it's got a spring right there on it. And you just slip that out. Bam. So that's 
it's out. And you just uh, take this off right here. Let me see here. I got my hands filled up. Get the spring. It's like spring loaded on there. There you go, comes right on off, right here. And this spring will go with the, this assembly will go with the old one right here. Go back in the other carburetor. Well, this carburetor we just took out. So we'll slip that puppy back in there. You just never know, you can't have too many spare parts. So, let me put that back. Be right okay, y'all, I'm in a brain cramp. This is the choke right here. That's the throttle. So, disregard that. Major cramp. Brain cramp. Okay, now we're going to slip our choke in here. Ah, uh, that's a bear. It's not that bad, it's just, I can't help you see anymore. It just slips in, the, in there. I get that spring out the way. My light's probably in the way too. Oh, my head, no, my head's not in the way. Okay, let me get in a better position. Down in a better position. going there it's a little hole it slides into yep huh hold up okay folks took the piece out right here inside inside here for the choke whole lot easier. Man, I tell you when they've only had a brain. All right, we'll slip that puppy in there. At least try to. Get this old carburetor out of the way. Get the spring off for a second. Put the spring back on there. Sliding on me. All right. There we go. It's in there, y'all. That's what she looked like. Chokes in there. Now we'll take this, slip it in here like this. Okay. And we'll tighten her up. It's plastic, so you don't want to go too much. I'll just take a 14 millimeter wrench, snug it up. There you go. All right. Now we got to slip this boot back over top of this. Okay, it goes like that. Yep, choke works. So we're good there. All right, you want to make sure that slips right over top. There you go. Slips right on top of that. That's it. All right, now we're gonna put the uh, the uh, throttle on there. I'm sorry about that. No, 
Ah, now I'm dropping wrenches and everything else. Now we're gonna put our Mmm, that puppy is on there. Alright, one second. Get a shorty screwdriver. I don't want that to happen either. Mm. Yeah, she's on her tight. Let me get the shorty on there. I'm dropping everything. Okay, let's let's regroup here, folks. Okay, folks, we're back. Sorry about the fiasco. Uh, we're gonna put our um, throttle cable in now. Sorry, I had that mixed up, y'all. I had a brain, major brain cramp. So, take the screw out right here. This one right here. Y'all know if you ever made a YouTube video, it's tough. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And okay, the throttle cable, where to get the choke hooked up. Okay, the throttle will go on one side, and the choke will go on this side. Just the opposite. Sorry about that, folks. But anyway, we'll. Put this all the way in like this. Yeah, yeah, see that? All right. Put in the hole. All the way in. There she is. She's in there. Okay, this hose right here. It's a vacuum hose. So. Let's get that out of the, that, that out of the way. So the, the, the new one with the uh, carburetor. Okay. That goes up underneath here and to up to there. But anyway, slip that in the slot, the cable. Okay. Then we'll just screw that back into place. The uh, throttle. Check something out here. All right. Okay. I'm going to take our 10 millimeter wrench and we'll tighten this down. Mm, don't want to overdo it because that's all. Uh, Aluminum, brass going to aluminum. And slip the hose back over top to protect it. Our boot. All right, now we'll put a cover back on. We're slipping that little, there's a slot right here. You see there? There's a slot. Slipping that slot. As so, and there she is. Now, take that, put it in there. That's the screw with the washer on it. And I'll take our little fatty, uh, our little fatty Phillips head, and tighten that puppy up. That's good. And we'll put our hose back, our, our 
vacuum hose down between the uh, chassis and the engine. Okay, let me see if we're missing. Okay, we can put our fuel on. I'd say we'll go ahead and put our fuel on now. Wait, we got electrical. Hold up, let's get that down out of the way. That's gonna be hooked up. Of course, y'all know where that goes. We'll do that in a few minutes. But let's go ahead and get our fuel line hooked up. And that's right up in here. Okay. Let's get it started in the uh, intake hole first. Now let's tell you what, I can't make my mind up. Yes, yeah, let's, let's, let's slide into the intake hole. And this, it just slips in there. <clears throat> Rock it back and forth. Woo, camera gonna fall on me. Sorry about that, folks. But slip it in that hole right here. She's a bear getting in there. Uh, <clears throat> I think we finally got it. Yep, she's in there. All right, now I'll put a fuel line on. Fuel line. Make sure that's clean. Yep, that's clean. Okay. Come on, baby. You just gotta talk to it nice. Uh, yeah, fuel line is on there. Now we'll slip our clamp back on over top of that. Yep, that's on there. Okay, let's take a little break. Whew. Um, that's on there. Our choke. All right, choke be at the other end. All right, drop the throttle, and the choke's working. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's take a little break. Okay, now we're gonna hook our electrical connection up. Oop. All right, too much. All right, I've already rerouted it where where I want it, and. Bam, she's in place, folks. She is in place. All right, got that done. Now we're gonna uh, tighten our carburetor up. So, and I'll show you where that's at. That's, uh, let's see here. Okay, one second. That is that screw right there. Right there. Phillips head. You gotta tighten that one up. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go, we're gonna commence to putting the uh, air box back. Woo, that's gonna be some fun. All right. So, anyway, it's self-explanatory. You got your carburetor right here and your uh, air intake for your, your snorkel. Excuse me, right here. Your carburetor and here's your air intake for your snorkel. Okay, folks, this is our breather tube. That's gonna go back in there. We're gonna put our air box back in. This is our air intake slash goes into the air box for the carburetor. And this is the air intake for the snorkel. 
that's right here. So we're going to put that bad boy in there. So first of all, we're going to slide down in there. And remember down there at the bottom is a bracket that thing goes into. Uh, so let's see how that goes. this I believe yeah it's got to go that way all right so anyway slides in here like this don't forget about that air tube I'm gonna put that in there so we'll go ahead and slide that in there too that's right down here this air tube I don't know if y'all can see it it's right here. Anyway. All right, now, got to slide this in here. Takes a little bit of time. All right. I get these cables up the way. Okay. No, my head's rubbing away, y'all. Okay, the boot, air intake. I'll tell you. Get that thing fit up. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, we got the breather tube back in the air box. And we're gonna get ready to slip that on right now. Oh, it's kind of bear to get on. So what we'll do, that's in the hole. And the carburetor is connected. Now we're gonna take a, I believe it's eight millimeter. And tighten them bad boys up. Let's see. Let's see if we can find that thing. Ooh. She flipped all the way around down there. I'll get up on top where I can get to it. All right. So, oh, that's better. Better fit. All right, here we go. No, that's all. Uh, Probably gonna be a six. Yep. that up. All right. All right. We'll be back here shortly. Okay, folks. We got that bolt right there. That's the bottom of the air box going to a bracket going to the motor. Got that on there. It's all good to go. Now we're just uh, buttoning up the uh, air box. So what I mean buttoning up is putting them back together. Here we go. It's all put back together. Now we're gonna just put the cover back on, the air box cover back on. All right. Okay. Now we'll put our air box cover back on.
Wrong way. All right. Winch cable doesn't weigh. All right, there we go. All right. Let's put the sides back on and we'll crank it up and see what she does. I gotta put the side, side plate back on of uh, the uh, fender right here. All right. Hey, y'all. We're, uh, I got a battery charger on it. I tried to crank it up. I was like, hmm, it's kind of low on gas. I'll put some gas in it. So let's go ahead and crank it up. Battery's low. I'll put some gas in it, so let's go ahead and crank it up. See what we got. All right. After all that work, you got the battery charger on it. Electric ship. You need a good battery electric ship. All right. Might need to choke it. Let's try it without choking it. There we go. I haven't adjusted the car ready yet. That is it for the uh, that is it for the carburetor project. Y'all, you know, I'm telling you one thing. Woo. That's a heck of a job, but still, if you had to clean the carburetor, you still had to take all the carburetor off and clean it. So, so we're gonna keep a watch up, make sure that hopefully a new one doesn't leak. It shouldn't. I'll uh, never have a new brand new carburetor leak before. But there we go. That's it. She's purring like a kitten. So, probably end up putting a new battery in that thing. Because when an electric shift gets low, a lot of times it won't shift. You need a high, good battery. I mean, you know, brand new, a good battery, a brand new battery, or one's got a, I'm going to put a battery tender, charger plus on this one to keep the battery maintained. But Dad, I might go a month or two months without riding it, and it'll help keep the battery charged and maintained. Okay, y'all. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and suffer five. Hoorah. Any questions, comments, please ask. That's what I'm here for. All right, y'all. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.